Kapoor and welcome or welcome back to Anthropology. So I hope you all are well. Thank you for joining me in another video or welcome if it's your first time. In today's video, I am doing a comparison between the Common Projects Low Achilles sneaker versus the Givenchy Urban Knot sneaker. So behind me, I have my collection of court sneakers. I have two pairs of the Common Projects Low Achilles court sneaker. So this one is the Common Project Men's. This one is Women by Common Projects, and then I have one pair of the Givenchy Urban Knot. So I'll be going through each of these. This will not be an in-depth review on both of them. I have done a in-depth review on my Common Project sneaker, but I will mostly just be comparing the two to see which one I prefer, and if you're debating between the two, which one I think would be a better buy. So if you're interested, keep watching. So to start, I guess we'll start with construction. So basically the shoes are fairly similar in terms of construction. So basically, I'll just pull these ones. As you can see, they basically look more or less very similar. They have similar elements like the stitching around, what is this, the ankle. This one, it is padded, whereas this one, it is not. On the back, they have fairly similar elements. Obviously, this one has the knotting because that is the Urban Knot sneaker. And then in terms of the lace and the tongue, the Givenchy one has a padded tongue and so does the Common Projects one. And then they basically look fairly similar from the front. On the inside, they are both fully leather lined. The Givenchy one has a suede tongue and they both have suede in the back to help make sure that your heels don't slip when you walk in them. So if you have a narrow foot, I would say the Givenchy ones are better. They do have a narrower toe area, I would say. They're more streamlined. If you have a wider foot, I would say go for the Common Project just because the leather I've noticed stretches a little bit better on these ones. These ones are a very, very smooth calf leather, whereas this one, it's more of a stiff calf leather. I believe because these ones are double lined as well. So one thing that I really like about both of these shoes is that the rubber part around the side is stitched in. This is really good. For example, it's best to show on this one because this is my most worn pair. So you can see on here, even though the plastic part has split from the leather, because it is stitched, the outer sole is not going to rip away from the actual part of the shoe. So in terms of construction, they're pretty equal. In my opinion, quality, they're pretty equal. The Common Project ones are made in Italy, whereas the Givenchy ones are made in Portugal. Essentially, that doesn't really mean much in terms of quality of manufacturing. Both countries, I would say, equally produce the same quality of goods. I know a lot of high quality or luxury brands have moved from manufacturing in Italy to Portugal. Apparently it is cheaper. A lot of people don't seem to mind that just given that you still get that European standard as opposed to other brands that have outsourced to places like China. Portugal seems to be one of the cheaper places, just like Romania. I've seen a lot. Prada likes to manufacture in Romania. They get that European feel, that European vibe, which people still prefer over paying the higher costs associated with Italy. So in terms of pricing, they seem to be on a similar playing field as well. Givenchy's seem to retail for a little bit higher, around $645 to $800, depending on the different version that you get. The Givenchy's come in three different models, it seems. So there's this one that I have, which is just the basic one. There's the one that has the lettering upside down all around the back. And then there's the one that has the elasticized band over the ridge of the foot. The Common Projects ones come in a high and a low version, as well as the various materials that you get. I believe these ones now retail for $610. When I first purchased them a few years ago, so these ones, I did get them full price and at the time these were $4.95 I believe so they've gone up quite a bit so like $200 in that short amount of time so these ones I got on sale actually so these ones I picked up in January from Holt Renfrew so they were originally $6.10 but then they went down to six or no $369 which is a pretty solid deal so $369 for these ones after tax it was $413.28 which is really good. I've worn them a few times, not as much as the other ones, just because I got them in January and it rains a lot in Vancouver. So these ones I got quite a few years ago, I would say also from Holt Renfrew, also from the women's section, hence all the pink. I wore them quite a bit, but I found these ones took a long time to break in and they're still quite uncomfortable and they show a lot of wear, even though I haven't worn them that much. I think because the leather is stiffer, if for example, I do this, it sort of 
like stays in place and the, the wrinkling is quite bad. Whereas these ones, I'm gonna be honest, I've probably worn them just as much even though I've had them much less because I find the Common Projects are much more comfortable than the Givenchy's. They have a softer insole. These ones have a very hard insole. So when you put your foot in, it's like you're putting it on like a board and then when you walk, it's just, and they're tighter, so. Basically, that's that. But this one, the leathering, the leathering, the leather is a little bit smoother, the grain is finer, and it's much more flexible. So I believe that since it's more flexible, the marking or the wrinkling doesn't stay input as much. These are my oldest pair. These ones I have worn to death. I've worn them in the rain, I've worn them in the beach, I've worn them in the rainforest. And in my opinion, they still look wearable. Obviously, they're kind of fucked up. They're really, really worn. There's a lot of splitting along the lines, but they're still super comfortable. The one thing that I love about Common Projects is that they stretch out and they basically become like a nice slipper almost because they're a leather insole completely. I really like how comfortable these ones wear in. And if you have a wider foot around like the knuckle of your foot, these ones are the ones to go for. So all in all, I would highly recommend the Common Projects Low Achilles over the Givenchy Urban Knot. I find the Urban Knot ones, the insole is harder, so it's harder to break in. The leather is a lot thicker, so it retains any sort of marking easier and they're more expensive and I just think they give the same look as the common projects but they're narrower maybe if you have a narrow foot they'll be better for you but for me since I have a wider foot they're not very good for me which is why I have two pairs of the common projects and only one pair of the Givenchy's in terms of sizing they all fit true to size so I have all of them in a 39 across the board these ones they fit a little bit tighter I don't know why that is I believe it just because the toe area is narrower and it's stiffer. All in all, I love all of the shoes. If you can get them all around $300, I would say do it because they're a very classic shoe. They're very wearable. They're very easy to match with a lot of different things and you can get them in a lot of different colors. So they make them in a variety of colors and not only the backs, but also the whole portion of the shoe. I would recommend the Common Projects over the Givenchy's just because I find they're more comfortable. They seem to be more durable and I just think you'll probably wear them a little bit more. There are a lot of dupes for all of these shoes. So just go whichever version you prefer prefer you don't have to go for these ones obviously you can go to like Aldo or whatever and get a cheaper version you get what you pay for at the end of the day all in all I recommend the common projects over the Givenchy's If we're to look at what comes with them, so in terms of dust bags, all designer shoes should come with a dust bag. For common projects, you get one, which I don't like. It's just this one belt dust bag. Good enough, I guess, to put both of the shoes. With Givenchy, you do get two, which I do like, and they're quite nice. They're just simple. They just say Givenchy like that. I love when designers give you two dust bags for your shoes, so then when you travel, they don't rub against each other. The one thing with the common projects, you get an extra pair of laces. So the laces on the Givenchy ones are quite a bit thicker and they're a little bit stiffer. They're harder, I find, to lace up because they don't flow as easily through the holes. Whereas these ones are a lot thinner and I find they're a lot more malleable. Since they're thinner, I find they often will rub and then they will break. So I've had to replace the laces on the common projects twice, whereas I've never had to replace the laces on the Givenchy. But common projects seems to know that that is an issue and they give you an extra pair of laces, whereas with Givenchy, I didn't get that. So also I will link my Instagram down below, Anthropology, same name as this channel. In addition, I post pictures of some of the items that I love, outfit pics, and just general pictures of my cat. So if you're interested in learning more about my different content, follow me there. This was just a fun video comparing the two shoes. Obviously you can't go wrong with either, 
but if you're looking for a more comfortable, better fit, better lasting shoe, in my opinion, I would go for the Common Project Low Achilles. And I hope to see y'all next time. So thank you guys and have a nice day.